Buenos dias. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Good morning, Pasadena. How are you all? Birthday. No, you're not. Hey guys. <clears throat> How you doing? I'm on vacation. Still work. I'm in Hawaii. I'm in OC2. What's up, bitches? Don't move out. Don't move out. <laughs> Good morning, how's everybody doing? I hope everybody's having a wonderful, great morning. I already had a wonderful PT and I watched the sun rise. It was beautiful. It's my new routine and there's going to be a lot of new things going on. Now I'm going to break down this uh, about probably 30 to 40 minute video mixed in with a little bit of maybe Tai Chi. Maybe, I don't know about that. Um, but it's mostly just me breaking down the future and the present. Because uh, right now it's all about me. Um, for me, it's all about my family, God and Jesus, my son and my wife, and living in the now. As a matter of fact. So um, you know, enjoy, get your coffees and teas and stuff. This is just pretty much just an update. It's not gonna be anything uh, too educational. Well, my st my shit's always educational. Um, I even when I talk, I learn. My, I bring up things from my past and stuff too or just now or just whatever i learned as well that's why when i say i'm a student as well i really am like i'm just doing this obviously like i ain't no teacher dude you don't see me with a monocle or glasses and shit like i'm 28 years old man i'm still young at heart though i mean well 28 is young as shit like for real so yeah and but i do want to hit up some uh some prayer sessions at the uh our parish me and my wife's parish and my family's my son so I wanna go ahead and get that done, all that good stuff. Uh, your lucky J hook for Jacob, dog. So, uh, you know, it's gonna be all about that. And my muffins and shit, dog. Uh, so, yeah, it's already seven. Yeah, so I, I have my new workout routine where I'm gonna start hopping up at 4 a.m. and going straight on my run. Before, I would do my entrepreneur work video first and then run, and that would just not really go well, because I would, I mean, it went well, actually, it went great. What am I talking about? <laughs> but I just want to switch it up and do something different. Yeah, what am I talking about? It's been fucking awesome. <laughs> I'm very happy with everything that we've been doing, especially daily entrepreneur training videos for my career already. Like, but, but with that being said, um, since it's like already almost August, it's almost fall and shit, and I kind of noticed myself like last week I was kind of running out of stuff to say. I've already went over so much from health and exercise to health 101 to spiritual stuff to uh, just stories from shooting the shit, from, you know, uh, papers, documents, uh, just good positive stuff. Well, I don't run out of that ever. But I actually, I noticed it was getting more of just like kind of chill you know it's kind of just stuff that it, it's cool but it doesn't have to be done on here every day so especially when I, I have other shit like I as you know I already went over all my stuff and I'm, you know not that I mean this is of course top priority this is my career so so yeah of course I care I care more than care but I'm just saying um for you guys that I'm gonna keep and for myself for everyone I'm gonna do I'm gonna start doing one at least one video a week. Maybe, I guess, today, Tuesday. Or maybe two. That's it. Alright, I'm, I'm not going to be doing it every day because I'm running out of stuff like to talk about, really. <laughs> and, I, and I'm only 28. I want to keep doing this for a long time, too. So I don't want to, like... You know what I'm saying? Like, do, do too much. And, of course, it, we're all... It's a progressive, and we're learning every single day. And plus, when it's, like, one a week, 
or two a week, whatever, maybe one a talk and one Tai Chi, or just one, and we do probably just one, honestly, I don't know, we'll see, uh, until further notice, it's always till further notice, I'll let you guys know, of course, I'm right here, but yeah, it's just because every day was getting kind of a lot, and I've been doing it since, I mean, before, I mean, years ago, but also just started doing it every day in, what, December, January, and that's like more than half a year, and almost every single day, and they were good, uh, they were regular class distance to time, like duration, they were like 30, like 20, whatever, up to almost, to over an hour, every day, yeah, that's a lot, especially when I work out too, and do church stuff, and work, and have family, and a son, a five-year-old son, and like a wife, and my own stuff, so yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. Care. <laughs> <laughs> just like, you know, one to two a week. Alright, that was easy. And the rest of the breakdown of the video is going to be something really cool I want to talk about. Mostly, it's going to be a lot of lovey dovey romantic stuff with my life and my wife. And it's the rest of our story together. Um, I, because like, I'm glad I did all this stuff, really, like all the career stuff I did now, like for the Marine Corps in college to get everything we have now because the rest of our lives is going to be consistent of course the money stuff but that's what I, I shouldn't say that but finances is going to be good I'm um, blessings and because we earned it for our son and for our legacy uh, of course God helps with that of course he's number one Jesus Christ Lord and Savior family with that Jacob Israel my family kingdom mar our kingdom marriage which is the main thing for you know me and my girl our kingdom marriage of ours uh, traveling, like what we always do, even if it's just working out, running around, sa savings, of course, I know I'm going to do savings, music and harmony, the David in us, the singing, whatever it is, not too much, of course, you know, when you lose your breath, sometimes I'll, I'll be in church and even bust out and singing, and then after I'll sing it, I'll be like, whew, you know, you start to feel a little bit lightheaded, that's a good thing, that means you're putting in, you're putting your spirit in there, and that helps other people, that's called giving, fun fact for you, Holy Spirit stuff, comforter. Peace and loyalty, always. Corinthians, 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 Corinthians 13, verse 4 through 8. Love is patient, love is kind. It does not envy, it's patient, and that's it. Through sickness and through health, always, baby. No matter what, I do, forever and always. Every day is V day. You know what I'm saying, baby? I love you. Um, and uh, this is just something I just was thinking of during my runs and workouts and stuff because I was like, all right, my videos are kind of getting bland and um, kind of getting uh, skittish and. Thuggish, ruggish, in a good way. You know, there's beauty in every everywhere you go. And every place has beauty. Um, take a man's swag, by the way. It'll be loco, Caribbean Prince King, whatever. I love you all so much. To you and yours. Me and my family always sending love and light and blessings forever and always until the end of time. I love you all so much. Don't judge. Don't be mean. Um, stay on your P's and Q's. Do what's right. And God will lead you the way. He's got us forever and always. Um, America. Happy July 26th. Happy Tuesday. Turn up Tuesday in a good way. Um, be safe if you, you know, do a, you know, be safe. Don't do stupid stuff. Don't get in trouble. Um, and I was thinking of this doing like one of my runs. Tarzan and Tanisha, you already know, baby, forever and always. Um, our wild, like the song Wild Wild Love with Pitbull. That and Undivided and like California and Girls are like top songs for me. Like more than just summer jams. But it's like me and ultimately my one and only my, my wife and you know this our son of course children but I'm just talking about you know it takes two to make a child Genesis 2 2 2 Adam and Eve swag you know the one and only ride or die <laughs> forever and always like the lawful Bonnie and Clyde you know not the bad kind you know what I'm saying like the, the lawful uh, Romeo and Juliet but they don't die you know what I'm saying there's a good ending <laughs> Our wild and strange love is pure as can be. Oh, baby. Just like our souls. And uh, do what makes you happy. Us. This is just for all the rest of our kingdom marriage together. Because I was thinking. And I was getting scared. Like, thinking about like the rest of A little bit. Like, seriously. You know me. I'm the youngest boy. That's just how I am. But don't mess it up. I was getting kind of like scared. Thinking about um, the rest of our lives together. Like, I did the Marine Corps and stuff. And I wasn't even scared. I, I'm not scared. Like, you check, remember my quotes and stuff, the PAT, past the athletic training? I run to my, in my enemies. I, the Marine Corps is not my enemy, of course, but listen, I run to my enemies. I run to my fears. I run to my goals. I run to these obstacles. 
I came out the room running with joy, the baby jumped with joy, to attack all these obstacles and stuff and show them how strong I am. I'm David, I gotta look what I can do with mommy and daddy. And I did it, you know, and I'm still doing it. And I'm so glad it happened the way I was, because I might have been, I wasn't scared of the Marine Corps doing the hardest boot camp ever. It was tough as fuck, it still is to this day, I would never do it again. And if anybody, if anybody says they will do it again, like, oh, I'll do it again, they do slap them in the face right there and be like, dude, think. Don't even think. Like, you don't know because you're not there right now. You're only saying that because you're not there right now and you're not doing it. But once you've... I remember thinking when I was there, I was like, I would never... If I ever catch myself saying, I'll, I'll do this again, then slap me in the face. <laughs> Nobody wants to go do that. But then again, I wasn't scared of it. Going through college and being the first to graduate from college and get that personal training certification and, you know, and all that good stuff. I wasn't scared of it. Traveling, going, going away from school, going away from school, ACC, graduating from there, then going on to four years at Salisbury, the Berry, me and my girl together, yo. She was with me, for, for, with me through all this stuff. Uh, yo, Towson, yo. Even th with all the COVID shit, still going out there after I already graduating, when I had my young son, and, like, we did it, me and my wife. Like, Everywhere from riding the light rail to Baltimore together with my girl and my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, we're going to Baltimore. No scared. Not scared of none. But the only thing, and not scared, you know, graduating high school, went through all that sports, playing football, lacrosse, and the sports stuff, wrestling, varsity, all of them, uh, track, varsity, all of them. No matter. I wasn't scared at all. I wasn't scared to go toe to toe with the head to head with the big boy in the, on the team and knock him off his feet and be like, you, met, you just met your boy. Shit. Yeah. I mean, I'm not scared, not scared, not scared. But I was so scared, man. I was frightened. I was, I'm frightened in a good way, in a cute way, because you know me, of our love together. Of our love, because it's so pure. And it it kind of, you know, my girl would say, man, it's because it's true. It's so pure to have someone you live with for the rest of our lives. And we've known each other since we were youngins, too. That's the destiny. And, like, no, they know you front and back. They know you inside and out in a good way, in a beautiful way, and vice versa. That's the scary thing about it, right? Like, like you become mind readers and shit. But it's beautiful. It's the most beautiful thing ever. And then you start, you embrace it. And it's still, you know, I get shaky and stuff. Even around my girl and my wifey and stuff. Like, in a good way. Because that love never dies, yo. The love that never dies. We're like diamonds in the sky. And we have, that's why God gave us a child. That's why, that literally, that's why God gives Jacob, Israel, me, and, you know, uh, children. Literally. Blood. Genesis. Ten Commandments. It's beautiful. <laughs> I love you, Dami Sammy. I love you so much, my son. Obviously. Um, I love you, my beautiful wife. Obviously. Se bello, mi mogli. You're beautiful, my wife. Te amo. I love you. Forever and always until the end of time. Um, but that's what I was scared of, especially at 28 already serving. It's like, dude, I did all that stuff now. Oh, shit. I did it. Yeah, I, I served honorably. I did it. I got out. I'm done. Yeah, I got the benefits coming. I got everything coming. I did it. Yeah. Yeah, I got the college degree, man. I did that too. Oh, shit. I can start my career with my wife. Oh, shit. Yeah, we have a child. Oh, shit. We have a house. Oh, shit. We have that. We got them finances coming. Rest of our lives together. Oh, shit. Here we go. Woo. This is the fun part, yo. It's like, if it wasn't fun before, our kingdom marriage and our lives together forever and always until the end of time. As it was beauty, as it was before, it is now, forever shall be, world without end. Amen. Like, it's beautiful. And that's what it is. And that's what I was not scared of as in, like, I don't like Scooby-Doo and Shaggy. You know what I'm saying? What if I had to say one of my fears, it's not, an, it's not a fucking dude, it's not a fucking guy and girl, it's no anybody physical, it's not the devil. You know, the devil would come in my face, I'd be like, you're a loser. It's nothing like that. It's not hell. It's, it's, damn, the rest of our lives again. Damn it, she gonna hold me. She hold me down. Let's go. I hold her down too. You know what I'm saying? Growing up together. So there you have it. But it's beautiful because it's fearless. Because that's what makes it so courageous and strong. And you embrace that fear. It's not really a fear, but you know what I'm saying. That's my God's honest truth, though. No one's perfect. So there you go. Actually doing it. No fairy tale story bullcrap. No freaking, hey, no no Titanic stuff. No no fairy tale bullcrap. No Disney stuff. This is real life. So there you go. That we did it and we're doing it. So that's the truth. And there's really nothing you can say to take that away. So.
and that is our wild and strange love, as pure as can be. And we're going to do what makes us happy with this kingdom marriage, us, because it's always us. And we're going to live in the now for the future, too, of course, because that's always there. But live in the now. Merry Christmas. Happy birthday, all the good stuff. Feliz Navidad. Feliz cumpleaños. And uh, with that being said, we have some cool spots in town that the angels have showed me, our foxes of, of ours, our angel foxes, the fox spots, I call them, that we've always had ever since we're little. This beautiful town slash the beach of ours. We literally live at the beach. To uh, chill and have our chill sessions in our secret spots, just like Sora and Kyrie, baby, in their little cave and shit. To do whatever there, Tarzan Tanisha style. And that is the beauty to this wonderful thing called life. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. That's the way <laughs> the cookie crumbles. What a, what a sunrise I saw. Sunrise. Check out the song Sunrise by Charles Gambino. That's a great song. Good timing too. We got church soon. So yeah, and that is the topic that I already knocked out pretty much in this video. So I guess we'll do some Tai Chi. So it looks like we'll start doing, I'll start doing this only once a week. Maybe twice on special occasions or holidays, all that stuff. I do want to do, like, or holidays. I am think I was thinking about that because I never, because I haven't done this during, like, the holidays yet, like, this format. Um, or entrepreneur personal training style during like Christmas and Thanksgiving and stuff. So I'm, I'm Halloween. I'm looking forward to that too, and like wearing I don't know Halloween like wearing stuff like I don't know dressing up doing a cute thing. You know, having more. You know, I like doing it just for myself though. But if people are in it, that's cool too. But you know me, this is, I'm serious about this, and I don't want anyone to really ruin it or anything. Not that we'll ruin it. I'm just you know me. I'm an artist, and I care about my craft. Like what my wife said, I'm very I'm a craftsman. And I care about my stuff and take commandments to a key. And that goes without saying. So not that anybody will ruin it, but they better not ruin it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That That's horrible. That's like that's like uh, messing up Michelangelo when he's painting the 16th chapel. Like, And that and everyone loses. You know what I'm saying? Like, Because of some jerk who decided to be a jerk to Michelangelo painting the 16th chapel. And there we go. We all lose. Now we don't have this beautiful art. You know what I'm saying on that? Yeah, you know what I'm saying. It's, it's art, and everybody's an artist. Yeah, and that goes from the imagination thing. That's a good follow-up to that. I put it um, a couple days ago about use your imagination. That's art. It's, it all starts with that. Making comics and drawing, you know. That's why you be your little boy, your little boy, little girl. You can have your buddies and stuff, but when you have your alone time, which is the best, that's when God is there, mostly there with you, and you can sit there, you can have your papers, you can draw whatever, and you keep them forever, too, like what I do. I still have it right now. I'm... I'm I, Right now, my coffee's on top of it, but it's right there. But the the book I made called The Kingdom of Crystals, and a lot of it was based off of like other games and stuff, but it really wasn't because I I was doing it all off my own mind, characters and all that stuff, and I still have now I have it saved on here, and I have it on my flash drives too. So in case anything happens to this, and I even put everything else on my three flash drives, including all my music and stuff, I put it all on there. So in case anything happens to this, that's what you do. You plan ahead too, and that's given to me by my father. Thank you, father. Uh, ever since I was little as well that I've used for school and it's not just cool, you know Art stuff like music but that is actually the best David, you know, that's you. It's not just and me and my wife It's not just yeah, we connect a lot through music ever since we're little you already know baby And it's not just our music. It's not just our um, um <laughs> You know our documents and stuff together uh, whether it be school related or just fictional stuff that we've made up which is really actually awesome because that's beautiful it's like Harry Potter that's how Harry Potter was made fictional it's fiction and it's the greatest franchise ever and it brings happiness and it brings joy to people like Kingdom Hearts <sighs> like Legend of Zelda like Peter Pan like Disney guys and it's just from a guy named Walt Disney R.I.P. he lives on forever and that's like and people like Dr. Seuss you know we all love Dr. Seuss and it's great for the whole entire fucking family. Excuse my French. Doesn't matter who you are. That's what I've been about, all about too, ever since I was little. And, um, I don't even gotta say that. It's just, well, actually, yeah, it's just nice to say. So yeah, we do, and we don't really have that, but that's another thing. So make sure you guys, if you do have stuff on your computers, use flash drives and stuff too. And um, you know, I put all my music on there, so all I have to do if I get a new one is just download iTunes again, and then just literally 
go put you know add them all in the library or whatever and i have all of our pictures which is very important to us what do i say memories frozen in time pictures forever i have videos i have saved all of them too you know cool documents like school documents college documents not really from middle school or high school but like from really important college stuff i saved that stuff because i used it on here which is exactly what i was planning when i was younger and now i'm doing it here and it helps a lot yeah and if something happened and I lost those copies, then I remember it here and I talk about it. Just like memories and stuff I've had with people. I remember in my soul and they're all pure, like our love together. <sighs> mm. I hardly drink soda, but it's still kind of cold. And after a nice long workout in the morning, Ooh, get you, get you kind of high. Shit, this one only have a little bit. <laughs> it does get caffeine, bro. And I had, I only had, I cut down on coffee too, for goals. I did, and I also uh, cut down on um, what's it called? Oh, I didn't cut down. I don't like cut down anything. I need to eat a little bit more, if anything. Um, cause I told you about that. How I went from like, I go from like 140 to 160 with water weight. So, uh, that's a good weight. I got a six pack, so. My wife's happy. <laughs> and vice versa. She stayed looking very beautiful and very good. What bright and oiled up, gorgeous, stunning, perfect. I'm a lucky man. Um me and myself got really good genes too. Shout out. <laughs> well we you know, look at his dad for that, you know. <laughs> look at my dad, you know. Alright, alright, alright. Look at my mom, be gorgeous. We all come from a woman. Um alright, alright. do that we all come from the woman um oh and i also like my goals i went ahead and did you know, i did the dumbbells too because i noticed i've also had a lot of energy and my um my right bicep was kind of twitching which is a muscle thing it's fine nothing doesn't mean anything serious but it's literally like a god twitch or a holy spirit saying hey start lift do a lift lifting your muscles they want to they lift like when you have muscles like me and your adhd and and not even, not even ADHD, when you just have a six pack, when you're very fit like me. Not to, foot, not to toot my own horn. I'm, I'm very, I, I take care of myself. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm natural as well. No drugs, no supplements. Only vitamins. B12. <clears throat> I used to take magnesium and fish oil, but my body don't need it no more. My poops, are, my poops already smell like fish. Seriously, that's a good thing. It means you're healthy. Fresh fish. You know. Fact. Um, freaking Snapchat. Anyways, it's, I've been doing dumb, dumbbells more, so I pick up those weights. So I, I did all my goals right there. Um, yeah, and with, I guess with that being said, well, since I do the week thing now, the once a week or twice a week, we can do our goals one today, and I'll say, well, it's Monday, it's Tuesday right now. So whether I do it, you know, it could be Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, or even Thursday, just at least once a week. I don't want to set a certain day, like, because it just depends on how we feel or how I feel. How we feel we're all the ultimate you know we're all in it together but you know what i'm saying i'm an aries so i don't know ultimately i am first in the zodiac if you want to get astro astro astrological about it astrological and i'm not and i'm a divine masculine so so i'm at least do it monday once or twice a week monday tuesday between monday tuesday wednesday thursday and i'm trying to keep you know friday Saturday and Sunday, those three weekend days kind of sacred for not doing it. So it could be one to two, maybe three, I don't know. <laughs> Holidays and stuff too. Um, one, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. It will, it will vary. I'm very versatile. It will vary. Whatever it is, it will be. It's, I don't do these live anyways, but I'm just letting you know. I'm letting myself know mostly so I can look back and stuff too. Either way, it's on here, so it's out there in a good way positive way positive vibes positive vibrations and we'll, i'll go ahead and we'll, we'll say goals or whatever and then the next week we'll go over well i'll go over like how i did and you can do that with yourself too you know however you do it and like kind of mingle and mix and mingle in our batch of cookies and scoop poop i don't know and uh we'll keep we keep each other in check see how i do that see my personal training ways it's not really tra it's kind of it's just literally what i've always done ever since i was little and that's just be a good teammate and like working together 
like a science project. Like it's not even me. It's mostly you, us doing the work together. That's really what it is. Like there ain't no drill instructors. I'm not no coach. And not at all. Like it's just us chilling together. Like my, my style's the best, dude. I'm sorry. Yeah, it's good. Let me slip free. We in this together, bro. Forever. Never give in. Never give up. And I gotta say, not the biggest. Don't be. Don't shoot for it. Because I, I wasn't. I wasn't the biggest, not the baddest, not the strongest, not the fastest, but I'm the hungriest, and I'm going to eat, and we still eating in a good way. That I made that up myself. I think I, I put that up here, too. Yeah, I did on one of my uh, pr previous videos. You guys can check it out. That's on you, and you can see all the quotes and stuff, and et cetera, et cetera, I've done ever since my college days, Yep, and I use it now for my career, you know, for the art, for this, for, uh, for our career, and good stuff like that, cool stuff. So yeah, toast my guts. So with that being said, we will do um, what I do one or twice a week. We'll um, I'll do the we'll do the continue the tai chi in here too. So that's cool because it's not doing it every day. Yeah, I like that. Plus, there's also other people living here in this duplex of my, of ours. Like me and my wife are down here with my my son, and uh, you know we have a lot of people go in and out and there's other people in the house and stuff and the du it's a duplex you know like the movie duplex it really is like there's people up there and there's even people down in the basement it's like a big hotel but it's a house there's different you know as you get older that's what it's, it's a family house so I also don't want to do it every day because it might you know wake people up or that's why in some, a lot of the videos you see me whispering and shit like that so that's another reason just called common courtesy I don't have to, it's, you know, I'm not breaking any law, obviously, I'm not doing anything wrong, actually it's quite the opposite, but just mostly because I'm just like, eh, whatever, you know what I'm saying, just because I'm a cool guy, you know, a little bit of common courtesy, I'm really good at that shit, I'm a bro, I am a, I'm a very good neighbor, you can ask, I'm a very good friend, because I'm a great husband and a great father too, you know, so it goes, stems more out, you know, in the neighbor parish and everything, I'm a great classmate, a great peer, Remember our peer talk? Take take each other, take care of each other's peers, because we're in Vera Beach and Pat's peers. So take care of the peer, P I E R. But also with that, take care of your fellow peers, as in P E R S. Cool. See how that works? Like it's all, it's more than a quinky dink. It's like fate. We got look out for each other and whatnot as teachers and students, as human beings. And I'll also post some cool, and continue to posting cool links once a week and stuff too. Whether it be music or other people of God and women, men or stuff that I think you might intrigue you. And I'll continue saying Bible verses uh, when they pop up in my head. If, like I already did Corinthians, uh, which I do. You know, a lot of them I just say because I don't. I get the Bible right here, obviously, but. You know, I've tried that before, like reading it. Remember, reading it while on here, and it just doesn't feel right. I, like I, because that's not—it's not for that. That's part of the. I don't know. Like when you do the Bible, do it on your own time, and then after you do that, then I can come on here and whatever I'm annoyed. God would like me to probably share. Sharing is caring. He loves sharing, especially the good word of God in the Bible. And then who anoint you to do that? That's what I found out myself, being a young Christian, a young man, a kingdom father and kingdom husband in our kingdom marriage. That's what I personally learned because we all continue to learn. And he'll let you know in a very humble, sweet, loving way, of course. He's a loving God. Um, what else did I want to say? Now that I've talked about that, see, I don't want to talk too much about that kind of stuff because that's not why I do it. I'm just, I just like to throw that in there because it's true and I'm a man of faith. He'll let you, he'll let you know, like, if, oh, yeah, and it's similar to, back to the beginning of the video, now the kingdom marriage, the finances, and everything's already uh, going awesome for me, the blessings and stuff I was talking about, I've got, I've gotten them, guys, like, school loans have been covered, I, that's true, finances, credit have been covered, and everything is getting covered, it's like miracles literally happening before my eyes, well, it's more than miracles, because it's rightfully so, in God's timing for me and my wife and our family Robin Hood swag you know but it's more than that it's not just that it's us it's our family and it was rightfully so so amen that's why I go to church too because as I'm getting these blessings you say I'm definitely not the kind of guy to sit here and not thank God and be humble it's the opposite 
I'm gonna keep going to church and thanking him, and I'm gonna keep singing and working out while I'm working out and singing and praising him like David, and forever and always until the end time, and loving and using this voice and sharing, sharing, because we, me and my wife, we have a shared bank account. It's shared in a good way, because that's kingdom marriage. It's it's not just saying, oh yeah, we share everything. We literally do. You know, we share everything, and that's love. I love you. And we keep each other accountable in a beautiful way, though. At Otter Beaver House Swag. We look out for each other. She's my angel. I guess I'm kind of her angel in a way. But we're human. We're people of God. My twin, twin flames. I love it. Soulmates. My divine feminine. My girl. My bonita senorita. My et cetera, et cetera. My bank ranger to my white ranger. Yeah. It's cool, right? I think it's pretty cool. Uh, church is going to be, I'm going to leave in about 10 minutes, 5 minutes or so. So we'll do a little Tai Chi session and then I'll send you off. <laughs> I'm such a fucking dork. I'm not a douchebag, by the way. Don't call me that. I'm a nice guy. I'm fat with a PH. Remember that? You guys are fat with a PH. That means cool. Never mind. Let's just say hump day came early. That's all day. All day. <laughs> um, I love you guys. Did I, did I mention that? Alright. Do kind of a quick one though. Alright. I do also See, I'm just a silly. I'm sitting here narrating. <laughs> like, a little bit of coffee. Sometimes it tastes good, but I also like to put a little bit of Dr. Pepper afterwards. Kind of a, maybe, this, it's the, it's the, it's the, the bartender in me, but there's no alcohol involved. You know what I'm saying? Just mixologist. Potions class. For you Harry Potter heads. <laughs> like me. Alright, three. Two. Good timing. And one. Three downs. Breathe in. Hold it. Let it fill your hands. Out through your mouth. Damn, I'm already getting lightheaded. If you get lightheaded and lightheaded, that's a normal thing. I mean, I'm also talking and teaching, so it's also my body and everything adjusting. Pick the, uh, I'll go ahead and just pick the scenery. We're on a beach shore, you know, vacation and all that good stuff. This is a beach shack. I mean, the beach right is right down the corner. This is our little beach shack, the G, the G spot. <laughs> nothing dirty in the dirty Dino. It stands for uh, gazebo, like the song Rio. We can show him my gazebo. The G spot. Well, that's cool because like gangsters, like G's, like the G spot. Oh, that's cute. See, I'm cool. I'm kind of a dork, but I'm cool. It's the G spot. Nothing dirty about it. Literally because gangster spot or like G spot or no, gazebo spot. Nothing dirty about it. Don't let no one say anything else. Yeah, that's, that's another thing. People are like so quick to judge. It's like, dude, lighten the fuck up. You're a loser. <laughs> We're all losers. I'm a loser, too. Luigi! Baby! Make any movements you have to. I already did my run and stretch, so I don't gotta do too much. But I'll continue. Getting ready to sit in those church pews for a good hour or so. And kneeling on my knees. Love it. School. That's our school, baby. Mm. Hope you all have a great week. I'm not going to really say any goals anymore for me. I'm going to let you guys do that. Because I don't really have any. Because like I just said... 
with the whole life, kingdom, marriage, and stuff. Like everything's going gravy for me. You know, not the you know, don't be, don't get mad at me, please. Don't get jealous. I'm just saying, I'm not gonna really. I don't have anything personally. I already said about the. You know, I say it's nothing crazy too. You know, it's nothing crazy too, because I said I want to work out more, but like that's not a goal. Like oh. I don't have to, you know, I just, when I want to, like, when a muscle was twitching, go ahead and work out, it's not a goal, you know, it's not like a huge goal, I already did, I, already, I conquered all that, rise and overcome, that's one of my quotes too, PAT, past the athletic training, coined, you know, the other one, drink less coffee, yeah, that's not really a goal, you know, that's cool, I mean, and look at me, I'm good, sorry, once again, not being cocky, I'm just saying, you can trust me, I'm a natural guy, I'm, I'm a healthy, fit guy, inside and out so I can drink a little bit more I can drink a, that's the beauty of being healthy and, and fit I can drink a little bit more coffee and stuff you know I can have a little bit more sugar I can have the cheat meals every now and then you know what I'm saying there's beauty to it that's why you want to get fit not just to look good or whatever which everybody should want that you know for your wife for your husband or whoever you are just for yourself when you look in the mirror but also to uh, feel good on the inside and health health wise so I can eat a little bit more cookies or cake you know because I can that's the beauty of being healthy so remember that all right guys that's when the physical part you gotta do more than just the Tai Chi and the stuff you know you gotta do more than just nutrition and stuff and be a geek no offense you gotta actually get out there you gotta break some you gotta sweat pain and gain you gotta it's gonna you gotta feel it the same but we all work together, though. And we're all work in progress. Right? <laughs> I keep it funny, though. I make goofy faces and all that. You know, my son loves that. So. But I'm a dad, too. Like, I've been doing that. It's just, even before that, with my younger sisters and stuff, holding her, and I would make goofy faces. Like. Alright, sorry. Alright. So the aura that I found was... Um, whatever, whatever color. I don't know. White Ranger. <laughs> so pick whatever aura, let it fill your, um, everything from your core into your whole body. Continue breathing in. Breathing out. Remember not to be so hard on yourself. Think of some cool, easy, attainable goals if you want to. If you don't, then just be like me. Be like, man, I don't really have none. I strongly encourage that you know it's part of going with the flow but one thing I'm definitely going to keep doing is, people, is saying people we are thankful for and you know, all that good stuff which is my favorite that's the only reason why I would mostly keep doing this every day but you know we'll start to we'll change accordingly you can still do that every day of course just not on here that goes without saying that's another reason. Like, I don't need to do it every day and put it on later. Dude. But I think I made my point of how that's the whole reason why I did that. I encourage commitment of how dedicated and how serious I am about this. Yeah. Yeah. Well said, Samuel. Oh. Keep breathing in. Through your nose. Let it fill your core, your body. Fill your own body with positive light and love vibrations and spread everywhere and blow out through your mouth. Any minor cracks and whatnot. Remember, cracking your fingers and all that good stuff prevents arthritis. So continue doing that. With small movements, staying flexible, little stretches. While you do your Tai Chi and whatnot. And right now, my right arm's switching again because it's almost time for church. And now it's God saying, all right, come on. So that being said, five. Oh, wait. <laughs> People you're thinking for. Me, myself, go ahead and say whatever you want. Um, I'll say mine. I'm thankful for my beautiful, gorgeous wife, my son. And Jesus Christ, Lord Almighty, I'm thankful for myself and my family. Amen. And uh, you guys say whatever you want to. And if you don't think 
I'm thankful for you, or I love you, or something, then I am especially in love, and I am especially thankful for you. But that's how God works. Amen? Uh, Alright, I'll see you all about next week or so. We'll see how it goes. Five. Four. I also have a new setup for my computer, our setup, me and my wife. So it's kind of tough to also um, keep changing everything around and do a video every day because the camera I have like it's a lot of like fingling around too because there's different aspects to it that's all you need to know that's our um, office stuff in our, in our G spot uh, 888 number 888 King David had 8 wives my number was 88 in football one of them 888 24 gold Twenty-four carats. All right. Three, two, one more big one. I anoint thee in the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ's name. Um, continue doing peace steps. Remember and living your life with love and light, uh, being slow to judge, and lifting each other up and being there for one another. Ohana, Ohana's family, family means no one gets left behind. Uh, one more thing I want to add on, just when I did that, that's a part of breathing too. So when you do work out hard and you feel like you're losing breath or whatever, literally all you gotta do is lift your arms, make a diamond, like how you catch a football. It's not like stupid, it doesn't stand for anything stupid. It's literally, it's good for you. So make a diamond like you're catching a football, it's good for it's meditation stuff. Do that. Like DDP yoga. Shout out. And then just breathe in through your nose and out like that. It'll help you from being lightheaded and it'll help you just catch your breath. It opens up your like pores and your nostrils and your mouth and everything. And it keeps you know keep your arms elevated. Whenever you feel out of breath or don't work out or anything. Or you need to get done doing a set. Try not to do it like this. You know, we all do that, especially after, like, you go hard. It's still good because you're doing that. And, then, you know, of course, you're not you're not a superhero. But try to, like, just do it like that, like, without resting it. Of course, it's different when you're standing, too. And if anything happens, someone will catch you. Or just they're doing it against the wall or, or something, you know. Accountability of yourself and others, too. Oh, well, weight room safety, all that good stuff. And be loud. Be loud, you know, get out there and get it. <laughs> Do all that stuff, especially when you're working out outside. Wave and say hi to people or be like, be, or try to pump people up like that. However you do it, there's different people, uh, humans and different types of people who work out and all that good stuff. Try not to scare anybody if you do, if you're working out, whatever. Uh, don't get kicked out of your gym <laughs> or whatever. <laughs> if you're in your house, of course, that's on you, man. Hopefully your wife don't kick your ass. Don't blame me. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Take it outside, you know, whatever, go work out out there, or do whatever. So, I know the, uh, I'll see y'all later, I gotta hit up Churchy Church. Um, I'll label this accordingly. The kingdom marriage thing, the rest of our lives together, live in the now. And, uh, some new kind of format and stuff that I'll be doing. Until I get a night, I don't know what to do with my hands. <laughs> I got another coffee for a church. So yeah, y'all have a good one, all right? Stay pretty. Stay, stay, stay pretty, stay cool. All right, I gotta go. <laughs> See ya.